Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 3. Annie found some moss growing on a rock and they want us to find out which of the following shows the characteristics of moss. And they said that a tick shows that the moss has that characteristic. Now, before we take a look at the options, let's try and identify what kind of living thing is a moss. We know that moss is a plant, but what kind of plant is it? Is it a flowering or a non-flowering plant? We know that moss is a non-flowering plant. So let's write this out. And now, since we know moss is a non-flowering plant, we are ready to take a look at the characteristics. So when we take a look at the table, is the moss able to make its own food? Answer is... Yes. Now, how do we know this? Because remember we said earlier, the moss is a plant. And plants are the only living things that can make its own food. So let's check which of the options are possible. It has to be options 1 and 3. Next, let's take a look at the second characteristic. Now, is the moss able to produce its own fruits? In order to answer this, let's take a look at the moss. Remember we said what kind of plant is this? This is a non-flowering plant. And because it is a non-flowering plant, does it bear flowers? No. And remember, flowers eventually develop into what? Flowers eventually develop into fruits. Which means, do non-flowering plants bear fruit? No. So, I'm going to write this down over here. It does not bear fruits. Which means, shall we look for the tick? Or the one that doesn't have a tick. We shall look for the one that does not have a tick for this characteristic. Which means, which options are possible? It is going to be 2, 3, and 4. Lastly, does the moss need air, food, and water in order to survive? Answer is, yes. How can we tell? Remember, we said the moss is a plant. And plants are living or non-living things. Plants are living thing. So I'm going to write this out here. Since we know that the moss is a living thing, do living things need air, food, and water to survive? Yes. So we should look for the options with a tick. Which options are they? It has to be options 1, 3, and 4. So with that, we are ready to choose our answer. What should be the correct answer then? It has to be option 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!